Hello everyone, Plant Assassin here. Today I have a camas bulb and I dug this up from the same place where I did the video last time. See that the uh, greenery is starting to die back and the uh, flower stock already fell off so I went ahead and uh, dug it up while I was still able to find it. See right here is where the ground level was. So in that particular area the bulbs were about seven to eight inches below the ground. This is a good size bulb. It's about the size of a golf ball. It's a little, uh, a little narrower on one side when you turn it. But uh, this bulb's probably three to four years old. It uh, takes them a little while to get to this size. So, once again, if you were to eat these, um, this would need to be cooked because most of the uh, food stuff in here needs to be uh, cooked to convert it into human digestible form. You'll just get sick if you eat it raw. But I'm going to transplant this out into my yard. I have some other camas, uh, great camas growing out there. This bulb is from uh, Common Camas. I also have some uh, wild onions here for comparison. See the onions are much smaller. Uh, the onions, you can definitely tell they're onions. They uh, smell like onions. And when a camas bulb is young, it'll be uh, smaller like this too. So. I don't know what species of wild onions these are. Um, I find onions difficult to tell, tell apart. I, you can tell they're onion uh, in the onion family, but figuring out exactly which one it is is difficult. Also, you can see where some Mormon crickets were chewing on the bulbs, flower bulbs. So these will uh, flower up here. So. But I'm going to transplant these two. So, anyway, common camas, wild onion. If you found this video informative, please like and subscribe.